Hello Guild Ballers and welcome to another Guild Ball Informer video. You're joined by Jay today. And um, we're going to do a bit of an unboxing and it's an unboxing of something very special and very cool which I've been waiting to get my hands on for a long time. So I am quite excited. I got this a couple of days ago um, and I've managed to show some restraint and not open it because I wanted to open it uh, on camera for you guys. It's the first time I've had an opportunity to film. Um, so I'm going to give you a little look at what it is. Um, I think the packaging may give you a little clue. It's a box and spoiler, it's three foot long. That's right guys, this is my um, official Guild Ball play mat, which I can't wait to get out and use. Now I am lucky enough to say um, that I have had a look at one of these uh, fairly recently and they are beautiful. So I'm gonna do my best to show you what it looks like um, talk about some of the things I like about it um, I may even throw some terrain and some models on and give you an idea of what a game looks like on one of these bad boys uh, and it just gives you a bit of a look at it um, maybe if you're unsure about what, if you're going to get one well I will instantly say go and get one um, but gives you a look at it and hopefully it's a video you enjoy so I'm going to get my mug off the camera um, I'm going to go next door I will get the mat out and um, we'll have a look at that because that's far more interesting than I am. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay guys, here we are, we've moved next door. I have through a 3v3 board, as you can see, onto the kitchen table of all things. Um, one of the things I love about these mats is literally with these mats you can just grab a piece of ply from B&Q or your local hardware store and you can just chuck it down, drop the mat out and you are ready to go. So I'm as excited as you, this is the first time I've done this, so we will pull this out of the box. And, ah, okay. It already comes in its beautiful carry bag. And this, uh, it's a nice bag, uh, feels good quality, some good handles. Um, I've actually not looked in here myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'll get this open, let's have a look inside. So, here she is. The Gilball mat, and we'll get rid of that, we don't want that anymore. So it comes rolled up, um, sealed as well, looking good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, clip now, I will drop the mat down, and then I'll come back and we'll have a good look at it in all its glory. Cheers, guys. There it is, guys, rolled out. Uh, I've got to say one thing I literally rolled it out, no curled up corners, it lay absolutely flat. What a beautiful thing, and I've got to say, um, camera may not be doing it much justice but it is looking um, brilliant on the tabletop it is stunning the color is beautiful the detail is beautiful I'll tell you what I'm gonna take you off this uh, stand and we'll take it in to the pitch so I'm going a bit closer let's have a look excuse my kitchen by the way as you can see it's an absolutely beautiful pitch so they are marked with the um, so you've got the goal line and the deployment zone uh, the halfway line with the beautiful Guildboard logo and the same again on the other side and as mentioned literally just rolled it out um, and given where they've come from you can imagine how long this has been rolled up it just rolled flat it's a dream so it's a couple of millimeter thick and underneath it's like a, a non-slip material as you can see I'm pulling that now and the mat isn't moving, moving and the best way to describe the top of the material is like a a softer version of a mouse mat um, for want of a better term uh, but it's really nice I think it will uh, hold models quite well um, it, it, it is genuinely lovely stuff uh, and if I go in as you can see the, the the small detail is absolutely beautiful when you get into it like you can see the in the halfway point there where they've where you'd imagine the grass may have worn away you can see it blending there even the blades of grass when you get right in and then the stone and gravel and the lines um, another thing that jumps out to me you can see the slightly worn this is an absolutely beautiful beautiful piece of kit I would recommend to any of you guys to go and pick this up um, I think they retail at £35 um, some uh, local gaming schools are doing a discount on these I think at Element they're about £31.50 but don't quote me um, I would absolutely recommend you getting one they make your games look cooler and they are just a beautiful piece of kit 
and literally you can get it out of the bag, throw it down and you've got a gorgeous guild ball pitch at home. So um, I think I'll end this video with one more clip and I'm going to throw some models on the table just to give you a look at what potentially a game would look like being played on one of these as opposed to what some of us have been doing like the old GW grass felt or just marking an area. So I'll throw some models on, a couple of gold tokens and you can have a look. So cool. there you go. I actually enjoyed doing this a bit more than I should really. I've, uh, I've threw some terrain down some of the Solid Ground Studios terrain uh, by Nick over at Solid Ground. Beautiful stuff. Used at all the official Guild Ball tournaments. Uh, I'd recommend checking it out by the way. Uh, I've thrown my butchers on and my brand new morticians come into uh, a hell of a lot of videos soon because I'm amazed by these guys. And you can just see how cool it looks. Uh, Again, I'm hoping um, this comes across on camera, but even just looking down at this, this stuff looks absolutely brilliant. Um, let me take the camera back off and we'll have a look around the board. Um, yeah, like you say, this it just makes the whole game pop. Um, some people it may not bother as much, but having a really cool table to play on really does improve my gaming experience. Uh, so we've got Boar there. Uh, and gas laying waiting ready to give him a kick in. We've got the uh, the captains uh, staring off at each other there. If anybody's looking at these morticians and saying, wow, you didn't paint those, that will be, obvious they're looking mean, that will be because you're right, I didn't paint these. These were done by Yggdrasil Painting Studios. Um, there will be a video coming soon, as soon as me daft little turntable spinny thing comes from Amazon, you'll see these guys and they're hitting a lot of the battle reports. But this mat, which is what the video is about before I get carried away, it really does um, make the game not only easily accessible at home, but look absolutely beautiful too. We've got Graves there rocking it on some rough ground. Just in case Brisket gets brave, we've got a bit of a, a mascot show down there. Um, so to recap guys, um, I've got to say the quality of these mats is absolutely superb if anyone is thinking about buying one I would recommend doing so as soon as you can they are beautiful I couldn't be happier with mine I can't wait to get some games on it I'm gonna to speak to Chris uh, and James Clark and Jamie of Guildball TV get some games on this as soon as possible um, so I hope this video has given you some sort of insight into the maps if you were unsure on whether you were gonna pick one up um, so as always guys, we're having plenty of good games, um, I hope this video has been useful, anything you want to see please put in the comments below, and as always guys, happy guild balling.